Hey yo, what is up guys, Akar Shiel back with another video and today we'll be uh, taking a look at a Bluetooth or a BLE based uh, indoor location tracker. Uh, the location tracker that we have today features LoRa. So we have some uh, blue BLE based uh, beacons and we have this uh, main uh, tracker which has both the BLE and the LoRa module. So we'll be cracking this open and seeing what's inside this. And along with we'll be also cracking open the uh, BLE beacon that we have. We'll understand basically where this uh, technology can be used or where is it useful. So basically it's for uh, location tracking of something that's movable or mobile uh, without the use of a GPS a module like this that like we have seen before. So I made a GPS tracker video. Do check it out if you haven't till now. This is mostly useful when we want to uh, track locations indoor and in a very precise manner. So if you're interested in something like that in learning the application of this and learning how this all works, stay tuned to the video. PCB GoGo is the leading supplier of turnkey PCB assembly services including PCB manufacturing, PCB assembly, component sourcing, functional testing and IC programming. They have been in the PCB industry for over 10 years. They are equipped with the most advanced production equipment such as Yamaha pick and place, reflow oven, wave soldering, x-ray, AOI testing and the most professional technical staff. PCB GoGo provides the order service from prototype to mass production. Join them now from the link in the description box below. So starting with the products that we have today, first one is the LBT-01 which is coming from Dragino. It's a LoRa uh, based Bluetooth tracker. So this is the tracker itself. It's a decent looking tracker and it has a button over here, an alarm button over here. Uh, apart from that, in the box, there's this compartment at the below. We have a charging cable. Uh, we have a strap for hanging it over here. Then we have this uh, cable for programming the device. So we'll keep this at a side for now. So that is the tracker that we have. It has a button over here, which is an emergency button or you can program it to be whatever you want to. It's there's this uh, nice LED over here, which glows when you uh, switch on the power from this side. Uh, on the back, there are some details. We'll get to this later in the video. We have a micro USB port, so you can charge the device using this and you can also program it over from this. There's a reset button on this side. There's nothing over here. So we'll be uh, opening this up. But before that, we'll be taking a look at some BLE or Bluetooth low energy based uh, beacons. Uh, we'll understand what these beacons are, but these are uh, also uh, coming from Dragino. So for example, you have a indoor setup, which is maybe a factory, a building, an office space, anything which is quite big and you need to track movement within this building. For example, if you have a uh, self-driving autonomous forklifts that are moving in a warehouse, maybe. So this can be a warehouse, which is a pretty big one like we have, or it's maybe a data center or something wherein a uh, location trap tracking of some personnel or fleet management or something like that is required. And because of all this being indoors, we cannot properly use a GPS tracker because GPS tracker generally requires an open space with uh, with no roof on it. And uh, along with that, if this is a multi-level thing wherein there are multiple levels, then tracking precisely on which particular level in which particular room a thing is or your GPS or your location tracker is that is something that is not very much feasible with a GPS tracker. So there is where the Bluetooth low energy concept comes in. Uh, so what happens over here is a Bluetooth beacon or something like this is a small device that is battery operated uh, and uh, it can it it it's always uh, transmitting a signal or a small packet of information which has its unique ID over Bluetooth low energy. So uh, so it's a basically a Bluetooth signal that this uh, particular beacon will transfer and it's called BLE because it requires very low energy. This particular uh, beacon uh, transmits after every 500 milliseconds and with this rate the battery inside this small baby can last up to four to five years. So that is how good these BLE technology is for these purposes. So let's say that we have BLE uh, based beacons in each room or in some places. Let's say over here, here and here. And uh, let's say these blue icons are uh, 
I'll maybe color this blue over here. So these are small Bluetooth low energy based beacons and all of these have a range of few uh, meters. So these will be transmitting uh, their unique ID uh, in these locations. So I'll take this example of this room. So they'll be transmitting their ID somewhere over here. And now this is what the main tracker is. So this tracker has a BLE chip as well. And apart from that, it has a LoRa chip as well. I've done a whole playlist and a video explaining what LoRa is. So do watch it out from over here if you are not aware of what LoRa is. But basically this tracker has both BLE and LoRa. So when this tracker is somewhere near over here, so I'll uh, put this in orange and color this in orange. If my tracker is somewhere near this Bluetooth low energy beacon, it will pick up the signal of this BLE beacon and it will know that it is near this beacon, which by programming, we know that it's in present in room number one. Once this tracker knows the location that it's near Bluetooth, it's near the beacon one, it'll transmit that information over through LoRa to a central gateway. So we have a, a LoRa gateway over here. I've done a video explaining about how LoRa WAN gateways or LoRa gateways like this one work. So do check that video out from over here if you haven't. And if you don't, if you want to understand what LoRa gateways are in detail, but in short, a LoRa gateway will just connect your LoRa based node or device to the internet. And this serves as an interface between the LoRa network and the internet network. You might ask that why not use Wi-Fi instead of LoRa as it directly connects the nodes to the internet. That's a good question. But the thing is that Wi-Fi has a lower range, very low range as compared to LoRa. LoRa can cover a distance of around few tens and hundreds of kilometers in an application like this, wherein we have a big building, only one gateway at the center of the uh, hall or whatever you may say this factory is. So we might have a gateway somewhere here and this can provide connectivity to the entire building and multiple floors at a time as well. So it might be able to cover three to four floors, which are pretty big in area, maybe, maybe few hundred meters as well. So that is the beauty of this gateway. You just need to set up one gateway and all the trackers that you have moving around inside that building can be connected to that single gateway. So all the information that which tracker is near which Bluetooth low energy beacon that information say let's say we have this tracker labeled as tracker letter A. So when this letter A will be moving near the uh, beacon one, it will send that information. First, it will receive this ID that is BLE ID one on this tracker, then it will send that information over through LoRa to the gateway and the gateway will update that information on the internet for you to look at on your smartphone or something like that. So this is typically where you can use a BLE based indoor location tracker somewhat like this. You can replace LoRa with Wi-Fi as well if it's a pretty small space or if you know that uh, there's Wi-Fi coverage all around the building where your tracker can move. But again, on Wi-Fi as Wi-Fi will consume more power as compared to LoRa. The first word in LoRa means long range with along with low power. So that is another advantage that LoRa will uh, pose over here. For this tracker, you just need to deploy this service in your building, your go down, your warehouse. You just need to purchase few BLE beacons. You need to place them in different rooms of yours. You need to get a gateway, set it up in a single building. You And the number of devices you need to track, you need to get these uh, trackers individually and, and put it along with the things that you need to track. And when they are moving, as, as they are moving near these BLE icons, you will receive these IDs on your server, on your screen at one time without much hassle. So that is the beauty of the BLE based tracker. I hope you get the application of it. Now we'll be moving on to looking what's inside the tracker and the BLE beacons and how is all this being possible? What's the electronics that's inside these trackers? So as soon as I look at this tracker, I remember the GPS tracker that we had and both of them are from Regino. I did a video on this GPS tracker 
and setting up and connecting it to the things network using the uh, using the gateway and the process for setting up the BLE tracker that we have over here is similar as well as soon as we switch this on it behaves in a similar manner like the GPS node over here did so we'll not be setting this up and uh, doing all the coding part today because it's similar to the GPS node that we have over here so if you need to understand how we set this up uh, as as we did the GPS tracker head over to this link and this video because there I explain how to set this GPS tracker up now moving on we have already cracked open the uh, hood of the BLE tracker and we have done that to uh, to the beacon that we have over here as well so that comes off pretty easily uh, we'll move these aside for now and first let's take a look at the BLE uh, at the beacon that we have over here so as soon as we remove this firstly we have a button over here it's a soft button that's placed like that and it targets this uh, button that's over here so that's the beacon that we have it's a pretty small and simple circuit we have a cr2032 battery that's a simple coin cell battery it's a 3 volt battery and that is what powers it on as soon as we put it over here we see that this blue led blinks and that's all the led does right now and it starts emitting uh, and it starts emitting ble signals or uh, the beacon is active as soon as we put in the battery over here uh, and it starts transmitting the message with the ID that it has uh, using the chip that we have over here. The typical range that we get with this setup is around 100 meters. That's the maximum that you can get with BLE and that too in an open environment. As soon as you have some walls or some obstructions between the range falls down drastically. So it's a pretty simple construction. Uh, we have this battery holder over here. There's a ceramic antenna that's connected to the uh, chip over here. There's a crystal oscillator that we can see right off the back. There's a push button, small push button. But the main heart that we have over here is again like all the Bluetooth low energy products an NRF52832 semiconductor chip brought to you by Nordic Semiconductors. We have done a video on the reacts based bluetooth module that also works on bluetooth low energy as well so you can check that out from over here so if you want to know more about bluetooth getting the uh, chip out of its casing uh, at the back we have some test points uh, so if you want to debug or code this we have some i can see test points a clock signal a ground signal some power signal so that is uh, where you can solder your wires or probe into this and if you want to change the code in the beacon you can do that you can program it to uh, some different id also if you want uh, but uh, that would be your own custom firmware so that's a pretty simple design that we have it's a pretty interesting shaped pcb keeping that to a side and moving on to the main gps tracker that we had there's nothing much in the lid there's the silicon cover that cases a uh, translucent silicon over here for the led and then it has this silicon button that surrounds this button there's this power button over here which uh, which slides like this so as i had mentioned earlier uh, it's kind of it's kind of similar to the GPS tracker and indeed the PCB inside also says LoRa GPS tracker and as we look at the back it uh, says LoRa van GPS tracker so this is kind of a mod that they have done uh, that Dragino has done in on their chip because supposedly they didn't have the main BLE tracker the original one uh, in store but this kind of does the job because I suppose there that's the place where the GPS module comes into in the main GPS tracker but that's not there. Instead we have four bodge wires coming out from there and moving into this uh, BLE chip. This BLE chip I can again confirm is the uh, NRF52832 that's from Nordic and that covers all the BLE communication happening with the beacons. It receives all those messages. Then we have the heart and the brain of the product right in the center of the chip. That's an STM32 based microcontroller which handles all the communication that's happening in this device. We have a, a RFM95 LoRa chip. So this is responsible for handling the LoRa communication 
to the gateway we see an antenna that's uh, that's a flexible antenna that's here and it says 868 as our device was on 868 megahertz for the LoRa technology so that antenna is for that BLE has its onboard antenna along over here uh, moving on towards the top we have a battery management chip and a programmer chip because it has an inbuilt programmer you can directly connect to USB over here and program it because there's an onboard programmer for the STM32 we have a button so this is pre-configured and pre-programmed uh, for this button to be an alert button so when you have this on and whenever you press this button you will have an alarm message sent through this LoRa chip to your gateway and you can see that alarm message on your things network or whatever server you're sending your data to we have four pins over here it says jumper that's the reset pin the clock pin the dio pin and the ground pin so this is for programming the stm32 so that header is present over here and i suppose you can directly connect it to the uh programming wire that we had on in our box removing this on the back we see that uh, there's nothing much to uh, look at we have this marker which uh, just shows which frequency band LoRa chip is in the module then we have this solid battery so it's a lithium rechargeable battery it's a thousand mAh uh, and I suppose 3.7 volts battery so there's nothing much to look into at the back of this module so this is a pretty interesting device and an interesting combination of some uh, radio frequency uh, technologies with combination of when the gateway comes in we have all the Wi-Fi the Bluetooth the uh, LoRa technology in place so when we combine all these fancy technologies together we can make a device like this and we can do awesome applications like this the product links for all the products shown in the video will be in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing them you can head over down in the description below get it from there do check out all the related videos that appear at the end of the video if you want to have a more detailed understanding at the different technologies that we just spoke about let me know in the comment section below if you found this interesting if you have any other applications in mind or you would like me to make more video with this particular device maybe it functioning an application or uh, coding this up and with that we wrap up for today thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now also hit the bell icon to stay notified this is our first signing off